Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to patch and essentially upgrade the RW Design de Havilland Canada Dash 6 Twin Otter by Rob Wilson for X-Plane 11 with Anthony Dyer's developmental public betas. We are now on June 7th, 2020 on public beta 7 and we hope Anthony continues his work. If you don't know about Anthony's work, I highly encourage you to visit the Tweaks to Test X-Plane forum thread where you'll find the latest public beta. And you can read about all the progress he's made in the instructions PDF file included in the zip folder. And if you don't know about the RW Design-6, I also encourage you to go ahead and purchase the aircraft. It's uh, fun, simple, yet complex enough for anyone to dig their teeth into. And with Anthony's developments, it is now highly realistic. Now, without further ado, let's dig right into it. Go ahead and uh, pull up Google Chrome. And uh, I'm first going to show you how to get uh, the RW design from Otter. It's going to be that first link there. And uh, it's fairly priced at $30. Um, so not all the systems are complex and uh, mimic the real life aircraft. That's why we're doing this uh, patch by Anthony. And that's why he's been working on a lot. Um, so it's fairly priced, it's it's still very highly complex and a lot of the, essentially all the buttons uh, work inside the aircraft. Um, next thing you're going to need is Python. So type in Python, click that first link and uh, go to downloads a lot of you're going to be tempted to just click Python 3.8.3 right here but that's going to download the 32-bit version it's very important that we download the 64-bit version click on Windows and uh, scroll down to that third link down here the executable installer the 64-bit version click that and I'm gonna uh, um, now don't install that just yet I'm gonna walk you through that and lastly Obviously, the last thing you're going to need is uh, Anthony's public beta. So type in tweaks to test. And it's going to bring you here. Make sure that you click on the forums.explain.org link. It might be the second or third one down. It's going to bring you to that first page on the forum thread. And uh, this is where it all got started by a developer by the name of Nilska and uh, he was able to get in touch with uh, Rob Wilson and get uh, his developmental work included into uh, Rob Wilson's uh, latest 2.11 patch or updates rather um, uh, but Nilsk hasn't done nearly as, as much work as Anthony has I hope uh, his work also gets included one day go on page uh, 14 and scroll all the way down you don't really need to read all of this stuff. Um, there's a lot of jibber jabber about people having issues with the installation process, um, or uh, if you have issues with Linux or Mac OS X, a lot of those issues are covered here in this uh, uh, throughout the uh, uh, throughout all the pages here. So go ahead and click on the uh, June 6th post by Anthony. It's a Google Drive link. Go ahead and click on download. And I've already installed all this stuff, so I'm just gonna close this up. Unzip the zip folder that you just downloaded, and I'm gonna show you the uh, contents here. Open that up, and uh, this is pretty much it, guys. Uh, but it's not as easy as copy-pasting. That's why we need Python. Um, I know we haven't gone over it yet, but uh, if these two files, if you don't see this Python icon down here uh, next to the, uh, to the page icon, that means you haven't uh, installed uh, Python properly or you haven't installed the, the proper 64-bit version. So let's go back, open up the instructions. The, uh, I find his instructions are very clear, but you need to be computer savvy to maybe understand all, all the processes and, and command prompt scripts that he, he instructs one to download or to run. Um, that first page is about installing Python. Second and third page will be about actually patching. And then uh, 
that fourth page is going to be about uh, all the work that he's done on um, on each public beta. I won't go through all of it, uh, but you can see that he's done a lot of work. And if you know anything about the Dash 6, you'll know that um, a lot of it, it gets pretty close to the real thing. So I'll just close that up. Now let's get this uh, Python installation out of the way. Open up the installation wizard for Python, the 64-bit uh, version. And I've already installed it, so I don't want to go through the process of uninstalling it and just going through a simple uh, installation wi wizard. So, But if you were able to install Xplain, then I'm sure you, you'll have no issues. What I do highly recommend is that you install it on your main C drive, because it's going to be a lot easier to find uh, the program and uh, in terms of uh, running the script I, I I think it's a lot easier so um, let's open up the instructions now you've got number one check all right now second thing you want to do is run this command and, I, and I've seen some people in the forum literally running what is here so they've literally typed in or copy pasted all everything that's on this line and that's completely okay that's why we're we're, we're, I'm doing this this uh, tutorial to get some of these uh, these confusing steps out of the way. So when Anthony says run this command, what you're going to do is uh, click on the start icon or click the window icon on your keyboard and type in command prompt. Open up command prompt and this is what it looks like. And uh, what you're going to do is uh, open quotation. And the uh, next thing you're going to do is um, open up your C drive and find your Python folder, as I've done here. So this is my C drive, click that. You're not going to do anything else, just uh, click up here and it's giving you the directory. So that's what you want to do, copy, control V for paste. And then you're going to go to the instructions. You don't need to memorize anything. Just, uh, just copy this. Go back. Forward slash. Not backward slash. Forward slash. And paste that. And you've got the rest of the command right there. I'm not going to click enter because I've already done the installation process. So I'm just going to show you a screenshot of what that looks like. So just bear with me. Okay, so this is what that will look like. Don't get scared. <laughs> so it'll just say collecting pillow. We'll see all this stuff. And then this is the end of that. All right, so that's what it should look like. If you get something that looks exactly like this, and you see that's exactly what I've done. If you get that, you've successfully completed this first page. Now let's go to installation procedure. Okay, number one on the installation procedure, delete any mods that you have installed since version 2.11. Side note, that's including Nelska's work that I mentioned earlier. To save time in the future, make sure you keep a backup copy of the original aircraft outside the X-Plane file structure. All right, so let's do that right now. Let's minimize that, we're in my Windows C. Click X-Plane aircraft. And as you can see, I have previously installed uh, the public beta 6 so I'm gonna make a backup of that just in case I want to revert to that version later on so I'm going to just make a backup right onto the desktop and I'm going to bring over a backup of the 
the 2.11 already fully updated dash six. Alrighty, so that's the one we need to work from. Let's go back to the instructions. Copy the contents of this zip file into the Twin Otter aircraft folder. Make sure the FMOD, Tweaks, and Custom Avionics folders are in the uh, literal uh, folder and not with a folder within a folder. So that's what it means by that. Okay. Make sure that the uh, .python files that you've just copied have the icon as shown below. If they do, then you've installed Python um, and may process to the, next, uh, to the next step. If you do not, you need to reinstall Python correctly. And that's exactly what I was mentioning um, previously. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I already have a backup of this, so I'm just gonna delete that. So let's open this up. Bring my public beta seven over here. Open that up and select all of these. the base folder all right let me decide for each file just to be safe if it's a larger file then that's the file you want so they're all larger and you can see it's also a, a more updated date so keep all the files for a Make sure you do copy and not move like I just did. That's all right, I still have the zip folder. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is open up the instructions. Using the Windows Explorer, browse the folder dash six, dash 300, fmod, rename the master bank to dash six bank. There we go. So I deleted that, let's bring it back. Three. Dash six. Right. And I know the next thing he's gonna ask is for us to go to aircraft. I'm gonna research. We're gonna go to the King Air, F mod, and we're only going to We're gonna go back into aircraft, back into F1, and we're going to paste that in there. The reason we do that is because the original dash six um, sound file isn't as as complex or as nice as the King Air, which also uses a pair of PT6A engines. Um, so as an example, if you move in and out of the aircraft uh, in flight with the engines on, you really you can hear a, a, a difference. So it'll be much louder when you move out. Little things like that. Let's go back into instructions. All right. So browse. Yep. Yeah, we'll copy paste the master bank. Do not copy any other file including the GIDs, that's right. Now we need to open up the command prompt and change directory into our twin otter folder. Okay, so again let's click start command prompt. The way to change your, direct, uh, your directory is cd forward slash. You no longer have a directory. Go to cd space and then bring over my C drive. Okay, so 
I'm in my dash six folder. So I'm gonna select the address bar and copy and paste. But we're gonna need to bring it all the way back here. Select X and then back so we don't have a uh, C drive and just click enter and now our directory is the our, our base put on a file okay from here let's go back into instructions so we've changed the directory to our base twin otter folder run the command python folder forward slash python x tweak dash six pi and the results of the operation should be identical to those shown below if you did not see patching blah, blah, blah. so it should look like this and i'm going to show you what it looks like on my end so you guys are comfortable that that it's uh gonna work so in number seven we gotta go to the following folder plugins stma update open up the update settings text and change how to update from one to a zero we'll do that as well failure to perform step seven will result in the auto updater automatically overriding your patched files that is correct and we all want to do that but that would suck if you need to go back and patch everything else again so we're in our base folder so we need to go to the base python folder just like before and now let's go back to my C drive, base Python folder, click the address bar, copy paste. slash paste and that is the command and click enter and that all looks correct it should take um, as long as it's, as it's taken and when you see your directory again that means you have a successful patch okay so we can close that up now. Now let's go back into our X-Plane subfolder aircraft. And now I can actually change this to public beta 7. And now you want to go into plugins, STMA auto update. And you know what I do? Instead of just changing the. Uh... So actually, let's follow all the instructions first. That one means that it's on, zero means it's off. File save. And we don't want to update let's just delete these files that's it so guys that's essentially it i hope you found uh, my little tutorial helpful um i hope it wasn't too long and i hope you enjoyed the video uh take care and have fun with the aircraft bye bye